Alright, new event, the Valentine's Day Masquerade. There you are, I was worried you were going to miss it. What's going on? Professor McGonagall Girl has a big announcement for us. Oh, she's going to speak any minute. Do you have any idea what this is about? I have some theories, but they are just guesses. However, it looks like everyone's finally arrived, so perhaps someone else knows. Let's ask around and see if we can find out what this is all about. Blimey, it seems everyone's got a different idea about Professor McGonagall's announcement. Tonks thinks it's about a Valentine's Day uh, dance. Ch Chiara thinks it could be a few classes. and But do you think it's an upcoming guest lecture? What do you think uh, the announcement will be? She's going to tell us about this year's Valentine's Day dance. I will find out for certain in just a moment. Professor McGonagall is about to speak. Settle down, students. This is only. This will only take a moment. It's a pleasure to announce this year's Valentine's Day dance. With will be Hogwarts' first ever masquerade ball. Origin originating in the fifteenth century, masquerade balls have long have been respected and regal European tradition. Trust you'll all behave accordingly. So much to look forward to. Date, dates to plan, friends to dance with, and good food to feast on. What are you most looking forward to? Just excited to dance with my friends. All our friends have such distinct styles. I hope you'll save a special dance for me. Masquerade balls are the most romantic of all. Our celestial ball came together beautifully, but the election process for planning committee leader led some students to become overexcited. In an effort to focus the excitement on the dance, I will hold a meeting soon to select the leader uh, myself. Can't wait. I love a student planning committee. When the students are in charge, we have total control over the night. So we can do whatever we like. So I show ball playing in a uh, committee, but I'm still happy to be a member. We have the leaders. We all have lots to talk about. So let's so many preparations to make. You got here just in time. Everyone's quite eager to talk about this up upcoming masquerade ball. You can ask me anything. Uh, let's check out in with our friends first. Everyone's so excited to chat about the ball. Everyone's so excited about the dance. The planning committee won't be, be sure of volunteers. The dance is quite sure to be quite interesting. What's on your mind? Planning all well and good, and I'm more interested in the dotes. So since I'll be taking it easy this year and flying solo at the dance, I've got to uh, live, live vicariously through my friends. And from the sound of things, it won't be long before everyone's busy playing the ball. And you just know that planning committee is going to be the source of some unexpected drama. I'm assuming you plan to ask someone to dance as soon as possible. Perhaps you are right. There's a, no time to lose. In that case, I'm dying to know. Who will you ask to dance? It's always Penny. I'd like to ask Penny. It won't be our first romantic adventure together. Fascinating. You are sure that's the one you want to ask? Yes, I want Penny to be my date. You two will make an adorable couple. I know you plan to ask her soon, but don't lose sight of the 
community. The best way to keep the community from going off the rails may to be to join it yourself. And you can also m help make sure the ball is perfect. Good idea. As a member of the committee, I can keep things on track and help play in the ideal night. You better hurry. Professor McGonagall will be picking out committee members soon. I didn't expect such a turnout for a masquerade planning committee, as members of the planning committee will be able to plan the perfect night for us and our dates. Seems that's an appealing prospect, and you'll have plenty to do. I'm afraid I can only select one of you as a committee leader. To start, I'd like all of you to describe your interest in the committee, then I'll make my selection. Now you have all made current compelling cases. I'm impressed by your eagerness to take on this responsibility. You will have a place on the committee, and each rule will be of vital importance to the dancer's success. It is a critical part of my masquerade ball. My choice for committee leader is Andre Igu. Congratulations. Thanks for believing in me. I promise I won't let you down. We have put precious little time to get the dance on its feet, so I suggest you all get started. The flow is yours to begin planning. I look forward to your results. I vow to work closely with my team. It is my responsibility to make sure all of the committee members' voices are heard. Uh, to that end, let's adjourn the three boomsticks where we can discuss your ideas. I hope all your de decisions as planning committee leader are equally dis uh, what decided. I'll head to the three boomsticks now. There you are. I came as fast as I could. I hope I'm not late. You're just in time. We're about to start the first meeting. Thanks for supporting me as community lead too. Let's get on with it. I've got ideas to share and no time to waste. It's, I'm sure our committee leader has plans of, of some kind. Perhaps we should let Andre do the talking for now. Promise you will all be heard, but this must be by necess necessity. necessity be a team effort. Let's discuss everyone's thoughts on the dance. I've heard from all of you about what we need for this ball to be a success, but it was a lot of information and I'm not sure if I can remember. That sounds like a lot of things. Well, it's, so tell us who's in charge of what already. I can't stand around here with you all day. Since you are so powerful, I think you should oversee the decoration. A penny, since you become interested in music, you can handle that. You could team up with Chiara. She did a wonderful job han handling the playlist for the last Valentine's Day ball. I'll do that. And that brings me to the coast worker. I'd like you to handle the food. The food will be the one of the most challenging things so to get right. Wonderful. And remember... Excuse me. No one is limited to a single task. Once you are finished, find someone else to help. I think that's everything. What about the masks? Uh, I nearly forgot I'll handle the mask, and I have a better idea for how to make them even more, even better. Masks serve to reveal your or obscure the true nature of each dancer. Uh, to enhance this and put emphasis on your, our mask, I propose everyone wears a dress or tux with a mask design. Precisely, there will be the only clues <sighs> as to who it is. Of all that and our dance moves, I'll make each dance ma each mask unique. 
and the dances can choose the ones that suit them. We have a lot of things to do before the masquerade ball. Let's hop to it. So remember, once you have completed your tasks, check in with others. We are a team, and together we can make this an unforgettable Valentine's Day. Oh, what are you in for? I'm here as a member of the Masquerade Bowl. Uh, Andre tasked me with handling the food for the dance. That's a big job. He must trust you. Seems that way, but I'm not exactly sure where to begin. Just figure out what you need and how much of it. For an evening dance, I'd suggest an entree and a treat for s of some kind. Something like sandwiches and special pastries. Sounds perfect. I'd didn't know you knew so much about playing for dances. Then perhaps you could help me prepare the food. Why should I help you? I'll owe you a favor. It couldn't hurt to have a famous coast breaker in my pocket. The pastries will take the longest, so we should start with them. And before we do, I need to know what will be better for the ball. Uh, people prefer uh, sweets. I'll just stick to the sandwiches. And now that we know what we are doing, the rest is just still unfolding and waiting. So let's get started. These pasties are starting to look quite nice. I'm tempted to skip a few and sell the samples. It looks like we just have enough for the dance. I'm only kidding. Besides, I need to set a bit uh, before they are ready. I can get to work on the sandwiches, and you can go check in with the others. I'm sure you all have plenty left to do. I've got to make sure you owe me a big favor, don't I? Thanks for the help. This will really make the dance special. Any special plans for the big night? Dances are the perfect opportunity for mischief and a mass dance. These teachers really don't make things easy on themselves. Good luck with that. Have fun, but try to stay out of trouble. I'll do my best, but staying out of trouble isn't exactly my strong suit. I mean, look where I am <laughs> just because I tried to marinate a few steaks in the charms classroom. Just be careful with those sandwiches. I better get going. Penny... Uh, said she may have trouble narrowing down music choices. I uh, see you're still working on the music for the Valentine's Day Masquerade Ball. F I just finished preparing food with Jay, so I came to see if you, you could use my help. I have been pulling over sheets of music for hours. Talked to Chiara, like you suggested, and she helped me nail down the choices. I'm still trying to determine the right flow for the evening. The song order has to be just right. I don't know if I should start slow, then pick things up. I'll stop off with a band and cool down. We go over your song selections together. Sounds great. While we do, I can catch up you all, you up on all the latest dance-related dr gossip. I think we have found a perfect order. The masquerade ball will proceed beautifully, thanks to us. The only thing left to decide is what the last song of the evening will be. I love ballad, of course. It's a Valentine's Day ball, after all. That way, everyone will end the night clo co cozied up with the, the sweetheart. 
If you hadn't come along, I'd still be sitting here staring at the Dakota notes. But now I can't wait to get this music into the hands of the self-playing instruments and hear this full song. I hope to dance with you all night. I'm just waiting for you to ask. Then perhaps it's a good time to ask, would you be my date to the Valentine's Day Masquerade Ball? Now I can focus on making sure the ball comes together perfectly for our date. With the food prepared and the music playing, only only a few tasks are left. And Mueller must be nearly done with the decorations by now. Oh, I better go check up on her in the Great Hall. She may be all done, and we'd have nothing left to do. Where is everyone? I just finished preparing food with Jay and picking out a playlist for the dance with Penny. What well, may be done, but it looks like Mueller hasn't even started. Glad you are here. It's a long story. Perhaps you could still stop them before it's too late. I'll tell you everything, but you'll have to hurry if you want to say things straight. I understand what happened. Mule and Barnaby st uh, started arguing and went off to fight a duel. That's it. Mueller was being well Mueller, and I guess Barnaby got fed up. They storm off to the train guns with Andre chasing after them, leaving you to handle the decorations by yourself. And I've been standing here paralyzed ever since. I don't know where to begin. Don't worry, you'll be you'll do fine and you're not alone. You and I can clean this up. It's good to be reminded that we are all in this together. What you can get done around here, I'll go and try to talk some sense into Mila and Barnaby. Before you go, I want to thank you for all you are doing to make sure the Valentine's Ball is a success. I'd hate to see it all fall apart over some mid in fading. Tulip and I are going... As mates, and I'm quite looking forward to, to the opportunity to unwind. Let's work together and make sure Hoggard's first Valentine's Day Masquerade Ball is perfect. We better hurry. There is much time to, uh, to get the Great Hall in shape. I'll hurry to, off to the train grounds. Stop the duel! The 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 duel! Drop your wand or I'll be forced to show you why I was put in charge of the decorations. Prepare to face the wrath of the most powerful witch at Hogwarts. Don't get, you don't get to boss me around anymore. And the Valentine's Day masquerade ball is all for all of us. I have to do something before they hurt each other. You are too late. It's dueling time. We can talk to Stu, there's no need to fade, this is only going to complicate party prep. Uh, you're the one who wanted to duel, only because you gave me no choice. Stand down, both of you, fading is only going to make things worse. I don't want to ruin anything, you all seem to keep forgetting that. Then calm down and tell me what happened, once I've heard both sides we can get this sorted without a fight. So now you understand, I was only trying to help, but Mila started barking orders at me non-stop. Not that you would know anything about it, you can barely order lunch. You don't get to talk to me like that anymore. Only my friends can talk to me like that. And they never do. I'll talk however I want to, whomever I want, just try and stop me. I understand you feel insulted, and I understand you ha have a lot weighing on you. Being in charge and of decorations is a huge job, but we can't have you two fighting like this. What do we? What do I need to do so you can both get get back to your job? And does what I say and leaves uh, the thinking to the grown ups. Perhaps if me alone, see cheap people with just a little bit of, what's the word again? 
And then, in the interest of getting the decorations done before the dance begins, can you two let bygones be got bygones? I try to keep you cool uh, when signing tasks. Just try to listen for what Mila means, not necessarily what she says. But th this, after this is over, I'm going to need some time away from you. I'm going to need some time away from both of you right now. K uh, if you still care about getting this job done, I'll see you in Great Hall. It's been a long time coming, but we shouldn't let it ruin the big nights. That's a good attitude. I'm glad to hear you're still excited about the dance. And I st she was feeling awkward about going alone, and, sh uh, and she's one of my favorite people to talk with about creatures. And for Liz's sake and yours, let's do our best to make sure this dance is perfect. Now, that's the good way of thinking. Speaking of the dance, Badi said Andre chased you and Mila here, but I don't see him. He was with he was here just before you actually, but he got fed up when we ignored him and drew our wands. He wasn't very pleased with us. He stormed off to Transfiguration. I've got good news about the dance. I finished food prep with Jay, chose the p perfect playlist with Penny, and I know you were upset about Bonnie Mueller. They are back to work on the decorations. I'm sure they will be done in, in time for the dance. You don't seem all that excited. I'm not sure how much more I can take of this. I wanted to be a great committee leader, but so far it's been nothing but drama and escalation. It's getting in. Uh, it's getting in the way of my mask making, interfering with my creative ideas. I feel totally overwhelmed. Perhaps it would, f you would feel, it would help if you focus on one thing at a time. If the masks are the most important thing, we can work on them together. I bet you'll feel better once we finish them. Ooh, I like the cloud one. Are done, and now that we have talked, I understand wh where you are coming from. You are put, you are perfectionist, and you don't want to let anyone down. Taking on on the responsibilities splits in your focus. I thought I could handle the responsibilities of being a committee leader. N Ooh, now I feel like I'm doing ev everything in half measures. Mask looks looks great. Thanks to you, I have barely started. On the tuxedos and dresses, to be honest, I'm considering stepping down as committee leader. What would you do in my position? Would you step down if you really wanted to? Of course, you are not doing anyone any good by forcing yourself through this. You will find someone to take over so you can focus on doing a blend job with the outfits for the dance. That would be such a dream come true. Thank you for understanding. Still, before I do, I think I should find my replacement. It's just not sure who it could be. Don't worry about that now. Focus on the efforts. Make them as incredible as you know they can be. I finished my task and just need to find a new leader for playing in the committee so I can focus on my date. Now that I can work on the thing that's most important to me, I actually feel excited for the dance. I think I'll make a solo appearance. I don't want a date crowding, crowding, over, crowding, crowding me uh, trying to outshine my masks. Good luck finding a new leader. I know someone... Who hasn't been assigned a planning committee task at all? Tonks told me she's excited for the dance, but she isn't even on the committee. I'll go talk to her right now.
Watch you, I heard you wanted the wood. Thanks for meeting me. I've just come from talking with Andre and I could use your help. Andre has was having trouble juggling being committee leader and focusing on his mask designs. Then after Barnaby and Mueller got into a fight, Andre made a somewhat bold decision. This sounds more dramatic than I thought. I'll tell you the whole story, then perhaps you can help me save the ball. A lot's happened since we last spoke, but I see your problem, and I think I can help. That would be brilliant. I've been running all around so much already, I barely had the chance to think about my date. Without a committee leader, things could fall apart rather quickly. I'm starting to understand why Andre quit. It's a big job. I certainly wouldn't want it. You wouldn't uh, blast. That's kind of what I came here to talk to you about. If you won't do it, perhaps that means it falls to me. That's awfully generous of you, but from what you have told me, I think you have done m enough. You just said you haven't had time to focus on your day, and the dance is coming up soon. I think we can find someone else to handle the last bit of dance planning. Uh, your old pal Tonks knows someone who may be willing to help. Uh, as it happens, I was just talking with Chiawa about the dance. She's quite excited about the masquerade and regrets not being a part of the planning committee. She'd be great at it. She's calm, reasonable, honest, and will add a fresh perspective. So she said she was hesitant to volunteer, but after helping Penny with the music, she wants to do more. Uh, and it's a win-win. You'll give Chiara an opportunity to help and you can focus on your dates. I'm sure Penny will appreciate a bit of extra attention. I just want to see you have fun. Last I heard, Chiara was headed for the library. If you go there and ask her, I'll go to the library and talk to Chiara then. Tonk said I might be f able to find you here. We were talking about the masquerade ball, planning committee. Is something wrong with the ball? It's a disaster. We could really use your help. I had no idea. I wish I had volunteered to help. That's actually what I wanted to talk to you about. Andre was our planning committee leader, but he's chosen to step down. The planning committee needs a new leader fast. We are we thought of you. I'd like to help, but I'm not sure I have the qualities of a leader. Uh, I agree, you are quite capable. You shouldn't doubt yourself. Perhaps I can give you a few examples. No, uh, not, that was quite a confident boost. Perhaps you are right. I would make a good leader. Thanks for the encouragement. Billing, that means I'll just have a bit of time to prepare a few things for my date. Now that everything's sorted, I suppose I should go check with Andre and find out where I can start. I'll head to Herbology to put together a nice su surprise bouquet. God damn, I always get goddamn extra cards. Well, I didn't expect to see you here. I was hoping to spend some time with my thoughts. This was the first quiet spot that came to mind. I can't say I'm disappointed to see you. I assume you are here to dan on dance planning committee business. I'm um, finally finished with my planning committee. I prepared food, chose playlists, and helped Andre by getting Chiara to take over as, as leader. I finally have some free time, so I've ca come to gather flowers for my date. So to say Bonnie was here not long ago, mumbling something about Mueller. He said she wanted every available flower, so she he took them all. Um a fade there are no fully grown flowers left. I'm sure Professor Spout has some seeds around here. You could use her vicious charm to grow them. Of course, let's hurry up and get started. 
Brilliant, we are nearly done. I'm starting to feel quite proficient with Hobo Vicious. Just watch. Hobo Vicious. Oh, an interesting choice. Legend has it. If you blow the seeds from a day in line with one breath, the person you love will love you back. That's quite a romantic flower. I hope it's for someone special. But will I see you at the dance? But I have heard you and Jay made some excellent sweet uh, pasties. Plan to make an appearance only for free food. I'll, it'll be a... I'll be in the mask when I do so. That will make things a bit more comfortable. Now that my date's bouquet is ready, I should go see if the decorations are coming along. The great hall isn't decorated at all. I made a bouquet for my date and I left in in the dome as a surprise, but I may have come straight here to uh, help if you had told me. What does that mean if I had told you? I just want to know what happened. Bonnie and I were done with the decoration, so we went off to finish our duel. It was much friendly this time. We just wanted to see who would win. I got back to the Great Hall was empty. I'm not sure, but I'm finding, going to find out. I put too much time and effort to just let anyone get away with stealing our decorations. Perhaps whoever did it slipped up uh, and left a clue. Alright, so the bit before this, the clip got fucked so I couldn't use it tried nearly every joke I can think of. I think I know just what you want to hear. You kept mentioning puns, not too subtle. I don't want the task to be too punishing. Uh, tell me the funnest joke in the world. You are like the person who invented zero peeves. Because I've got nothing to thank you for. All right, you have had your laugh. Let's get those decorations and get out of here. Actually, your fun has caused quite a few problems, and we are one at a time. It's been so boring around here. Everyone's so focused on that silly old masquerade. If you ask me, no one, no one invaded Peeves. You want to come to the dance? I'll have to cancel some plans and clear my schedule, but if you really want me there, I'll make some uh, an appearance. Hold on a second. If you promise to stay out of trouble, you can come. It's time to vanish into the air, balls. We'll see you both there. I wouldn't want the dance to be boring and ugly. I'll restore your decorations and make sure everything looks the way it was. We got the job done, and just in time, the ball is about to begin. You're right. I'd better hurry you off and talk some sense into Ismilda. Get some get in the mask, asshole, to the dance, and she's actually considering going with him. Do you know who the mask asker was? How I know what I told you. It was a bloke in the mask that should be enough to make it a clue the guy's a loon. That does remind me, Andrea said he was going to make me a special mask for the ball. You talk to Ismilda, I'll head to Transfigurations. You, you will be happy to hear that despite a few hiccups, the masquerade is coming together nicely. Jay's been in the food, the music is all playing out, and Charles taking over as the leader. She's touching up the decorations after another small delay. Apparently, Peeves pranked, killed all the flowers. She replaced all the flowers with healing orbs. It's quite a nice touch. It, and it means that the dance is safe, so we can focus on getting you dressed as a thank you for all you have done. I've put together some special just for you. 
I've completed two ironic, iconic outfits, but without the perfect mask, the masquerade is just a regular dance, so I've made three special masks for you to choose from. Wow. I'll tell you a bit about them. You can choose the perfect mask. Now that you have closely examined your choices and learned a bit about each design, it's time to choose. Let's get you into your efforts so we can see how each match m mask will look. Which mask would you like to try? The magically mysterious one looks so dull. The shooting star also looks dull, so I'm gonna use Red Phoenix. Yes, I love it. I was hoping you'd pick that one, and that's my favorite. I'm just ha about ready now, and the timing couldn't be better. The ball is starting soon. Before you go, perhaps you have heard the rumors. What rumors Penny came by to get a look at her, the outfits earlier while he, she told me something interesting about Ben. Came to her looking for advice before asking her crush to dance. The idea made him so sheepish, uh, he decided to wear his masquerade mask. Mila told me earlier that someone in the mask asked me Ismilda to dance. Do you think Ben asked Ismilda? But we won't know for sure until we see them together. Oh, look at the ball. Can't mistake Tonks. It was a team effort. I mean, look at the hopes Chihuahua added to the decorations. It's music just right, and the pasties you baked are delicious. Andre's plan to play up our mask by having us all wear the same outfit was quite inspired. Your mask is fiery and brilliant. It reminds me a lot of Fox, to be honest. I just love it. Thanks, Tonks. I like yours, too. It's good to relax. Uh, there were so many twisting tones along the way. Speaking of twists, I confirmed that the pair over in the corner is Ben is a, and is Milda. That's shocking. So it was Ben who asked his Milda. I thought I, it was, I was all caught up in the school gossip, but I'll admit I did not see that one coming. What do you think of them together? Do Ben and Ismail make a cute couple? They're adorable. Look at how nervous they both are. Doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's not every day you see Sullivan and Griffin, though. But I suppose I can appreciate the novelty. They are an odd pairing, but perhaps they'll have a bit of fun tonight. I haven't seen her yet, perhaps I have. With all the masks, it's hard to know exactly who's who. I leave you to your search. There she is. You can tell by the hair. What? Well, uh, yeah, there she is. You seem to be looking for someone. Uh, but it's a bit challenging when everyone's in the mask. Uh, perhaps I can tell. Tell me a bit about the lucky person you're looking for. They're incredibly beautiful. In fact, they are so good looking, I almost hate for them to be in the mask. Well, that's the spirit of the occasion, I suppose. 
I'm flattered. Penny, is that you? I was wondering when you'd catch on. Uh, now that you have, it's time to, for us to dance. I'm having such a wonderful time. Everyone is the masquerade is marvelous. Chow did a f fabulous job adding those healing orbs at last min minute. Yo, wait, it's already time for the last dance. So let's make sure this one counts. A uh, new love ballad by Celestial Wolbach would be the perfect end for a perfect evening. I just wanted tonight to be special for you. So in fact, I put something together as a thank you. I think you are going to like it. Let's finish the thing, so then me in the courtyard for a magical ending. Look at this. Is this all for me? These are the flowers you grew for me and the pasties you made. Come sit th th this moment is just for the two of us. It, this is quite thoughtful of you. I'm glad you like it. The masquerade was wonderful. But it was over so fast I wasn't ready for the night to end. Though your mask it was beautiful, it's nice to see your face. I wonder if we'll have another masquerade. Perhaps, but until then, what was your favorite part of the dance? Favorite part was of the night was dancing with you. It was a delight and you helped me find the perfect song order. My favorite part of the night was being at your side, seeing how happy you would make everyone. That You impressed me endlessly. You were hard, you are a good friend, and you somehow managed to make it all look fun. You, we have grown quite close on our date, but tonight is special. Uh, whatever happens, I'm never going to forget this moment with you under the stars. Oh, that's cute. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.